we need to give the initial value for this whole list, or sorry, a constant array. Since the array is constant, unchanging, we have to assign all those values at once. So if you write a curly bracket, then you can put a bunch of values separated by commas. Like Alex, Bob, <coughs> right? If I wrote Sue, if this was a uh, constant array size Sue, I'd be done. So that's how you can assign uh, arrays. You can assign them by just giving them all the values, which is a great way to do constant arrays. So we'll do it for usernames. We'll also do it for the character names. I'll call star names. So I'll make up 10 of them for each. Uh, Alex, Bob, Daryl, So there, I made 10 names. I chose to go in order of the alphabet just to help me keep count, make sure they're all different. We'll do the same thing for characters. Call this guy like Osimo. Ronan. Right, whatever people name their characters. Some list of ten names. It really doesn't matter what they are, just for our, our code to have some random names. These can be changed at any time, but I'll leave them as they are. And now when we set names, instead of saying <coughs> string, I'll say grab a random entry in that list of names we just made. My list of names is called username, then I'll say that this person's name should be username random. And since my list is 10 long, I should do modulus 10. And I'll do the same thing for the player names. And since they're all being Kilgar, we'll take a character name, ram modulus 10. If I run this, ooh, I have an error somewhere. Oh, it said name with the plural. And this type my array here and target. So now instead of everyone just being Kilgar and uh, Jeffington, right? User one six five four is our oldest user. His birthday is January first, nineteen eighty one. And also on this day, Bob's character Firestarter has a birthday today. So does Gary's character Osimo, Carol's character Heat Seeker. Now I only made 10 names, so you'll see a lot of repeats, both for the characters and for the uh, people. If you held on there a couple times, your crank is on there three times. Only one cleft jaw though. Cleft jaw is not a popular name. Um, Jack Jack, your crank. Zero brain. Right, so we know it's working, and now we just have some more interesting names for this. Uh, now that I have random names generated, 
I think when I print out the oldest user, instead of just saying his user ID, I'm also going to add his name in there. Okay, so user number is number. Maybe he'll change his birthday or the user's birthday since it's Carol, our oldest user. His birthday is 131991. Um, so it's a nice gender neutral. So we have some constant lists. We're using that to randomly assign names. Does everyone have that? Does everyone have some list of names? You go to the name generator. The name generator? Yeah, the random name generator. Okay. Um, and keep in mind, if you have a list of size 10, then all you have to do is say random modulus 10. If there are 10 entries, that must mean that the entries exist from 0 to 9. So if you do modulo 10, then you'll always get a number 0 to 9. Right? Because in between the brackets, we're just asking which entry in the list. It's a random entry, modulo the length of that list. Okay. And the other thing I said I wanted to settle is if people tie for being the oldest, we're going to pick a winner. And I want to leave it up to chance. I want them to each have a chance at it. So. Down here, I wrote the comment, tiebreaker, coin flip. But I never implemented the code to actually leak my tiebreaker. I'll do that now. I'm going to give them a 50-50 chance. So I'll say if random number, modulo 2, is equal to 1, this guy wins. He's the new oldest person. Still 50-50 chance. We don't really see a change here. We don't really know about the tiebreaker. Anyone have any questions? Yes. You have errors. Errors are fun. I like errors. What does the first error say? It says, it's been semicolon before constant. Somewhere in the constant, that we are inserted, and we have to line. Oh, it's the wrong thing, is it? Yeah, okay. Um, Yeah. I have errors. Errors, that's okay. I have error on the IO stream. Let's see what it says. Include expected a file name and found new line. So that looks fine. Not open include. What? Go up, follow it up. Okay, 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 okay. Good IO stream. That looks right. Try and run it again. Uh, hit OK. Hit yes. Hit no. My guess would be um, did you, how'd you open this code? Did you make a new project? If your project name doesn't match this name, you might get some weird stuff. What you should do is Hmm. Copy it. That'd be the easy mm -hmm. solution. Uh, can you go to here? 
that and scroll all the way up. This is the error it's giving you. It's not even running that file. Oh. It doesn't even know about that file. Just because it's open doesn't mean it's in your project. So that's the only error that it sees? Yep. And that's the error it's sending you. Huh. Guys, when you open up a PCP in Visual Studio, right, if I go to one of my files, and let's say I open the longest line. And I've got longest line open and I hit play. It didn't play longest line, did it? Visual Studio, what you have is you have a solution. It's what project you're currently in. My current project is birthday calculator. There's no file in there called longest line. If I want to open longest line and run it, the easiest thing to do is just make a project called longest line. Or if I wanted to run somehow with my birthday calculator, I could try to include an existing item, but that's probably not going to work, and we'll talk about that next week. Um, what you can do is you can say, file, close solution. I can just close your project, and I can open another project. Open project slash solution. Here's my longest line. Now it's open. I can run it. Open project, birthday calculator. So if you've taken uh, the code that I put on the drive for, whoops, for the birthday calculator, what you should probably do is just copy and paste the code into your current project or make a new project. I only gave you the CCP. 